Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it has been a hot minute since I have filmed a video, but I was out of town last weekend. We were at um, the music festival, Tortuga, that I was actually doing the nine week challenge for. I know that I kind of failed on keeping you guys super updated with the nine week challenge that I did, but it's over and I felt and feel incredible. I feel like I've never been as lean as I am now, but I also feel like I have never been as strong as I am now. I actually PR'd on my deadlifts. What is today? Today's Thursday. Um, yesterday, Wednesday morning, I was doing my deadlifts and I hit um, a personal record of, I did eight reps at 185 pounds. So I know that's not super heavy for a lot of people, but that was a PR for me, so that was really exciting. Um, so it's really great to be seeing the progress that I was going for, um, but to backtrack a little bit, I figured that I would kind of just sit down and talk with you guys. I have my little coffee here, which I have been obsessed with this drink from Starbucks. It's really simple, and I don't know why I never thought to order it before, but it is amazing. It is just a grande iced coffee with two pumps of sugar-free hazelnut and a splash of light coconut milk, so like two or three ounces. Hi, Harley. You want to play? Um, but it is super, super good. It's not too sweet. <laughs> this bone looks disgusting. Sorry. Um, but anyway, so I have my little coffee so we can have like a little coffee chat here. I just figured that I would kind of talk about how I feel now that the nine week challenge is over. If I plan on continuing to track my macros, um, kind of like how I feel about tracking macros now that I've been doing it for a little bit of time um, and just stuff like that. And then at the end of this video, if there's time, depending on how rambly I get, um, I might do like a little... I guess kitchen tour kind of a thing just to show you guys some of my current staples if not that'll be the next video so don't hold your breath I don't know if it's gonna be in this video or the next video y'all are just gonna have to see um, so I'll try not to be too rambly but okay so I tracked macros for a total of nine weeks and you guys I love it I tried it uh, last summer yeah last summer for two weeks and I hated it. But like I mentioned in my video before this, um, I was working from home. I was home all the time last summer. I worked from home um, both or all three of my jobs at the time. I was working from home. Um, so I just, I, I don't know, it overwhelmed me tracking my macros when I had like my whole kitchen with me at all times. And it was just, I don't know, maybe I just got off to a bad start. But now I'm back in school and I'm home hardly ever. I'm home in the evenings and then early in the mornings and that's pretty much it. I'm at school all day Monday through Thursday. So being able to kind of hold myself accountable by tracking macros has really, really pushed me to see better results and it just, like I said, it's holding me accountable. Like I know what I'm putting in my body, how much of it I'm putting in my body, which that's the biggest difference um, for me is I wasn't really, when I was just doing like the clean eating, intuitive eating, whatever which there's I have nothing against that it works for me in the past I'm just doing something different now um, the macros just kind of help me realize portion sizes like understand how much I'm putting in my body how much I actually need and all that kind of good stuff a lot of people have been asking me if I plan on continuing to track my macros um, now that my nine week challenge is over Yes, 100%. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. My husband has actually been tracking his macros with me, and we both just love the progress that's happening. We love the flexibility. The IIFYM, if it fits your macros, is also known as flexible dieting. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, which is just at Glisten Fit, um, is it at? I don't know if Snapchat, you use a little at symbol. It's either Glisten Fit or at Glisten Fit, whatever you type in on Snapchat. Um, I'm learning Snapchat, so give me a break. Um, but... Uh, what the hell was I saying? If you follow me on Snapchat, then you've probably seen that I post a lot of snaps of what I'm eating, and I am getting to enjoy so many foods. Like, I eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch every single day, and that is my all-time favorite cereal. Before I was tracking macros, I was like, oh, heck no, I'm not eating that. Like, that's bad for you, da 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 And... I just have a totally different mentality about food now, and it's just super, super freeing um, to be able to eat what I want when I want and just kind of fit everything else around it. Like, don't get me wrong, if you follow me on Snapchat too, you 
see that I'm still eating like salads and omelets like I'm eating real whole healthy foods but now that I can sprinkle in treats every single day it just it's exciting to me that I can do that and still see results and progress and it's just so incredible um, and a lot of people have been hi Buck asking me what the heck tracking macros is um, like I said, I'm new to it, so I don't offer like macro coaching or anything at this time, but macronutrients are, there's three of them, fats, protein, and carbs. So you're basically just tracking your intake of those three things based on you. So everybody's macros are different, so you shouldn't be copying my macros, I shouldn't be copying your macros, and so on. A lot of other people have been asking me if I do carb cycling, which I do not. I just stick to one carb number. Well, it's kind of like a, I try to stay within like five grams um, for my macros. With my fats, I try to stay within two to three grams of my number, and then with carbs and proteins I try to stay within three to five grams of like my main number um, but no I don't do carb cycling I just have one carb goal that I try to hit every single day um, but I do train pretty intense six days a week so that's why I do it that way and it works for me I don't feel good on low carb days and I'm not um, trying to you know compete or anything like that so why should I do low carb days I shouldn't. That's how I feel about that. Um, but anyways, so yes, the answer is yes. I'm still going to be counting macros. It is really not that difficult. A lot of people have been like, isn't it kind of a pain? Or I don't understand how you track. I use my fitness pal. I use the free version um, on my iPhone. Um, it's just an app. So it's super simple. You put in like your macro goals and then you just track your food. I've showed that in previous videos, so I'll link those in the description box below. I'm going to go ahead and roll a few photos now of my before pictures of the nine-week challenge and then my after pictures. The after pictures are actually um, from the Tortuga Music Festival that we were at, so I'm on the beach having a good time so you guys can see. Um, what my final results were after committing to my macros and hardcore workouts for nine weeks. So I'll insert those pictures right here. And then if you guys are interested in the workouts that I did over the nine weeks, and then I'm still continuing to do those workouts as well, I have a four-week program that I created. It, it is my workouts, the workouts that I do, and it is a combination of HIIT training and strength training, and then it kind of puts them together as one big program. Or you can buy them separate if you only want the HIIT training or if you only want the strength training. That's fine, too. Um, I'll link those in the description box below as well. Um, but anyways, this video is getting a little bit rambly. I just figured that I would pop in and kind of give you guys a wrap up of the nine week challenge. Let you guys know that it is working for me. I am loving macros. I'm loving flexible dieting. I'm planning on sticking with it. Um, make sure you're following me on Snapchat so you guys can see what kind of goodies that I'm eating. I've been using Snapchat more than I've been using Instagram mostly because it's a lot faster and now that I'm my time is like non-existent because of school. Um, it's just easy to hop on Snapchat post and then get out of there. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and roll the kitchen tour now. So I hope you guys enjoy checking out my kitchen staples. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the kitchen staples kind of little tour thing. Um, I decided that I'm not going to show you guys like produce and meat and stuff like that. Obviously those are kitchen staples like chicken, ground turkey, sweet potatoes, spinach, asparagus, all that stuff. You guys have seen that a million times on my channel. Um, so this is more of like my outside of the box kitchen staples. Sorry if you guys can hear the dishwasher running. This is kind of poor planning. I was actually on my way to class and then it ended up being canceled. So I turned around and came home and I was like, okay, I can get this video filmed, but I'd already started the dishwasher. Meh, fail, whatever, it's fine. So let's go ahead and get into my kitchen staples. You all know that I'm obsessed with Arctic Zero if you follow me on Snapchat. These are my four favorite flavors. Snickerdoodle Dandy, cookie dough chip, cake batter, and brownie blast. Y'all, I literally eat a serving or probably half a serving of each of these flavors every single day. No shame. That's my dessert at night, and I look forward to it every day, and I always top it with none other than Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which is another staple in this kitchen. 
Okay, moving on from there, I have two protein bars that I've been loving lately. I got kind of burnt out on the Quest bars just because I was eating them like every single day, which they're still awesome. I love them, they're great, but I just need to switch it up a little bit. So I have two birthday cake flavored bars that are to die for. The first one is the Birthday Cake Fit Elite. That's what that one looks like. And then my personal favorite is the Oh Yeah One Birthday Cake flavor. This one right here. Y'all, this one has like legit sprinkles on it. It is amazing. And the macros are pretty good on both of them. The purple one has two grams lower um, in fat than the blue one. So if I'm like running out of fats and I tend to go for the purple one, they're both really good, but this one is a lot better in my opinion. Next up, I have the little tuna packs. This one is urban garlic. I'll either eat this flavor or like if I'm just eating it plain, like if I'm really in a rush and I just need to grab and go, I'll just eat this straight out of the bag or I'll buy the plain flavor that's just in water, low sodium, and I'll mix it um, in my salad or whatever. So if I'm eating it with something, I'll do the plain flavored, but if I'm just eating it plain, then I'll do the urban garlic flavored. These two things kind of go together, which I eat them together, but I also eat them separate, but I'll show them together. Chocolate crunch rice cakes. Y'all, these are so good. There's like little baby pieces of chocolate chunks in the rice cakes. Oh my gosh, freaking amazing. Um, and the macros are really good too. For one cake, it's 60 calories, one fat, 12 carbs, and one protein. So these are super good. Just make sure that you keep them wrapped up really well or else they get stale, which they still taste okay if they're stale, but you don't really want to be biting into a stale rice cake. I mean, I don't anyway. Um, and then this is a peanut butter that we've been using. It's the whipped creamy Peter Pan. Um, I had never tried the whipped version and I saw it when I was at Target and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Um, let me look at the macros. And it turns out that there's only 12 grams of fat for two tablespoons, which I don't even use like a whole serving. I typically do half a serving at a time. Um, but I just absolutely, the texture is, I don't know if you guys would be able to tell. But it's like a fluffy peanut butter. I don't know. We really like it. So this is what we've been buying lately. And we go through about a jar a week because we love us some peanut butter. Next up, I showed you guys this in my last favorites video. This has been my go-to protein lately. It makes bomb protein waffles and protein pancakes. If you see me post a protein waffle or a protein pancake on Snapchat or Instagram or Twitter or whatever, this is the stuff that I'm using. It's the PE Science Select Protein in Snickerdoodle. This flavor is on point, super delicious. Uh, next up, I'm gonna show a couple of things together. I have been on a nacho kick lately. I love Mexican food. If you know me at all, you know that I would eat Mexican food every single day, which actually I kind of do eat Mexican food every single day. Um, so this has been my favorite salsa. Super good. It's not too spicy, and, but it has like a nice flavor. It's not like watered down tasting, so love that. These tortilla chips are so good, and I like them because the serving size is actually substantial. I know some chips, you'll buy them and like the macros look okay, but then it turns out that you're gonna need like five chips, and you're like, really? Who gets full off of five chips? Uh, no one, okay. Um, but for these, you actually get 11 chips or 28 grams, um, and it's only 5 grams of fat, 19 carbs, and 2 protein. The Mission Organics White Corn Tortilla Chips, I just pick them up at Target. Pretty much everything that you guys are seeing, except for the protein and the protein bars, so far, you can get at Target. Um, and then going back with the nachos, these I also put these on my omelets in the morning. Super good, the Laughing Cow Cheese Wedges. These are my two favorite flavors. I usually do this one with um, nachos or Mexican dishes, and then I'll do the spicy pepper jack on like omelets or eggs or whatever. So super good, again, Target. Um, these two things are also from Target. I'm a Target-aholic, if you cannot tell. Um, I've been eating a lot of salads lately. Um, going back to when I was talking about the macros, like I said, I've been eat, being able to kind of fit in some treats like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and the ice cream and stuff like that. But I also am very, very strict on making sure that I get all of my micronutrients in. So all of my vitamins and minerals, so fruits and veggies. I am a veggie fiend. I make sure to have at least one veggie with every single meal. 
So these have been amazing to add into my huge veggie salads. Classic ranch and caramelized onion are my favorite. I tried cilantro avocado because a lot of people were telling me that it was amazing. Y'all, I thought it tastes like soap, to be honest with you. If you like it, then great, like you do your thing, but I tried it and I thought it was gross. My husband, he loves honey mustard and they have the honey mustard version and he loves that as well. You really can't beat the macros on these. I'm pretty sure I talked about these in my last favorites video too. I have a lot of food favorites, if you cannot tell. Um, but for the onion, for two tablespoons, it's 40 calories, two fats, four carbs, and one protein. And for the ranch, um, 45 calories, three fats, three carbs, and one protein. So again, Target, they have so many flavors. We also just picked up the creamy balsamic, which we haven't tried yet, but I'll keep y'all posted. Next up, I have been eating this Dannon Greek Light and Fit yogurt. Uh, Dannon Light and Fit Greek yogurt, sorry. Um, this is just the vanilla flavor, but we also have the strawberry cheesecake flavor in the fridge, and they are both super good. If Adam wakes up late, he'll usually just grab some yogurt for breakfast. Um, and then this is something that I'll pack in my lunchbox and keep in my car, like with ice packs, um, for in between classes, because it's just super quick. Um, it has a lot of protein in it. A lot of people have been asking what kind of turkey bacon I use. This is the brand of turkey bacon that I use. Guess where you guys can get it? Target! But it's super good for one pan fried slice. It is 35 calories, 1.5 fat, zero carbs, and six grams of protein. Super good. Adam likes real bacon over turkey bacon, which I do too, but real bacon hurts my stomach, so I tend to go for turkey bacon unless it's like a special occasion. Um, and even he likes this stuff. So this, Applegate Naturals, it's really good. Try it if you haven't. And I think I showed you guys this in my last favorites video too, but just in case I didn't, um, this is the Unsweetened Vanilla Silk Cashew Milk. I have been loving cashew milk lately. Just a little change up from the usual almond milk that I'm used to. So this stuff, super good. Again, Target. And then these last two things I actually don't get at Target. Um, this one I actually get on Amazon. It is barbecue sauce. Simple Girl is the brand, Carolina style barbecue sauce. For all of you who care, um, it's gluten free, it's vegan, no MSG. But listen to this, okay. For two tablespoons, it is five calories, zero fat, one carb and zero protein. I mean, I'm a Sweet Baby Ray's kind of girl. That, that's like my all time favorite barbecue sauce is Sweet Baby Ray's. It is like thick, sweet, delicious barbecue sauce, but there's also like a delicious like 20 something carbs for like a little squirt of barbecue sauce and ain't nobody got time for that. So um, I found this stuff and it's like a watery barbecue sauce, so it's not like super thick, but it tastes like barbecue sauce and for one carb, Hello, um, yes, so here is a little look at the bottle. Like I said, I get it on Amazon, and I put this stuff, I actually put it in my salads with the ranch, if I'm having a chicken salad, um, with the ranch Bullet House Farms, and I'll mix this in too. It's like a barbecued ranch chicken salad, and it's so good. And then I also put this on my omelet, which I've been having omelets more so for dinner than I have breakfast. Breakfast all day, every day, I'm okay with it. This stuff, super good. Cannot beat the macros. And then I'm sure you guys have all seen and heard of this. Walden Farms pancake syrup. Um, I order this online too. If I'm not shopping at Target, I'm at home shopping on Amazon. Um, but this stuff is, I'm pretty sure just zeros all the way down. Yeah, zero fat, zero carb, and actually zero protein, zero sugar. Um, I've tried a few of the other Walden Farms products. Uh, they're coffee creamer and I don't know if I've tried a salad dressing, but their coffee creamer, I thought it was terrible, so. But the pancake syrup is actually really good. I eat it on my protein waffles and pancakes every single day, um, so super amazing. Okay, so that is it for the kitchen staple tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as I find new products, I'll make sure to share them with you. I figured that just in case anybody asks that this sports bra is from Forever 21, and this white tank, which I'm obsessed with, the fit is like perfect, is from Glider Apparel, which I will put both of the links in the description box below. And if you buy anything from Glider Apparel, which like half my workout gear is from Glider, um, you guys can get 25% off of your non-sale item purchase by using my code GLISTENFIT, which I will put right here.
So you save money. You're welcome. All their clothes are super cute, and I adore them. So I will show you guys the cut of the tank. I know it's kind of hard to see. So it's like tight, but not too tight. It's like the perfect length. I'm only five feet tall, so usually tank tops are like down to here on me, and it's just not a cute look. And I end up having to tie them, and this one I don't have to tie, so I love it. There's the back, and then the sports bra. Super cute. The back is just kind of like normal. So yeah, uh, the pants are from Lulu. So there's that. Um, but just in case any of y'all were wondering, I know I get a lot of comments asking where I get my workout clothes and whatnot. So I figured I would answer before you guys had the chance to ask. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the macro talk, the kitchen tour, and all that fun stuff. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.